Hello friends, my name is Radha Masood. Today we will discuss about a topic Kaizen. Friend, today's topic uh, is very interesting, very important. If you are a student in studying project management, either PMP, project management of uh, university uh, level exam or you are studying Agile or Scrum, especially uh, Scrum. So uh, friend, this is a very important topic and with, ref uh, with respect to exam point of view, you will definitely see this topic in the exam. Uh, so that you can understand that how much it is important to understand the concept of Kaizen. Secondly friend, if you are a professional project manager and uh, you are working in any organization, you are a scrum master or you are working in any, any organization not necessarily related to project management, uh, this is a very important topic to understand and it's a general concept which we can apply in our, uh, in our routine or general life. So friend, let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. Kaizen. Friend, uh, Kaizen is a term that refers to ongoing on continuous or continuous improvement. The definition of Kaizen comes from two Japanese words. Kai means change and Zen means good. Friend, basically uh, Kaizen is a Japanese word or you can say a concept came from Japan as well. Uh, there are two words, Kai and Zen. Kai is a word, is a term used for change and Zen is a word means good. So that means good change. Okay, so Kaizen means basically continuous improvement and in a general word, in a general sense, we can say a Kaizen continuous improvement. Uh, friend, Kaizen, you can understand from the concept like, for example, uh, friend you are working somewhere in any organization and you want to improve your life just try to understand the con main concept here Kaizen so uh, what you can do you can uh, think that on a weekly basis you will improve one thing in your life for example uh, in the first week you will always try to reach on time this is your first thing you will always try to complete your work on time you will always try to uh, meet with people uh, with a smile <laughs> you always try to uh, greet uh, in prior like you will always try to help someone etc etc so <coughs> in that way friend uh, the main concept is that these small small changes which you do in your life it will someday it will reach to some point in which a bigger or greater change will occur in your life this is the main concept of uh, Kaizen like the continuous improvement or a good change. Uh, Kai means change, Zen means good. So uh, as a whole Kaizen means continuous improvement. So friend, continuous improvement means friend that uh, whatever the change you want to bring in your life. For example, you want to become a CEO of the company. For example, just take an example here. So what you can do on a monthly basis, you just decide that for example, uh, on every month you will take or uh, make some good change or positive change in your life okay so friend if you are making changes on monthly basis positive changes in your life on monthly basis so at some point you will reach at some point which uh, will be a bigger or very good very big change in your life so also friend uh, a very important concept like that friend if you want to uh, very uh, if you want to reach at a very good level in your life either in professional life either in your uh, personal life so friend uh, remember that you can't change the things suddenly it is not possible that you suddenly make the changes you have to do the changes one by one and small changes start from the small changes if you start making the changes from small Remember one thing that at some point you will reach that you can reach at a very big and very positive changes. Similarly, friend, if you want to, uh, if you want a very happy uh, married life, for example, I'm just giving you an example, just take an example. Like, for example, you want a very good uh, married life. So what you can do, like a, a, a start making small changes in your life, for example, always try to uh, reach from office at home by for example by seven o'clock or by six o'clock so that you can give uh, time to your family to your wife to your children 
um, on a monthly basis you can go outside for some outing etc etc just take an example like try to make some positive changes on a regular basis after every one month or two month you will make some positive change in your life remember friend one thing that these small small changes will be noticed and you can reach at some point that uh, you will see a very big and very positive change in your life either it's a personal life either it's a professional life so this is a called as the concept of kaizen friend what are the benefits of kaizen the kaizen approach is beneficial for a wide variety of business models and operational philosophies it can improve work process and eliminate waste improve quality and increase the profitability of your company although it's not a quick fix implementing kaizen can lead to consistent and long term growth a uh, friend nowadays uh, like any if we talk about project management like uh, project management or scrum framework any other approach nowadays all these approaches friend based on the kaizen basically you know that a scrum uh, the scrum, uh, scrum is a methodology which we use for the uh, management of uh, software projects so it is totally it uh, kaizen is a very important concept continuous improvement very bus- uh, ca- common business models are based on kaizen uh, the development of uh, different products is based on kaizen the main concept like you can apply this concept on any uh, uh, any any model any business model any industry you can apply the main concept is continuous improvement uh, taking uh, making good changes every uh, passage of time and eliminating the waste of time Elimin- eliminating the waste waste means some activity which is not producing any positive impact it's just wasting your time that is called as the concept of waste so the kaizen is a model is a concept which you can apply on any organization any business model any approach and the main concept of continuous improvement and eliminating the waste that is called as the main benefit of kaizen now we can talk about uh, list down some very basic uh, benefits first basic uh, benefit is continuous improvement like kaizen says said friend that continuous improvement is very necessary uh, uh, in the in the life that you must improve your things continuously uh, if you are not improving the things friend that means you are going to finish this is very important competitive advantages are there encourage grassroots thinking grassroots thinking means friend that uh, kaizen uh, encourage you that from the bottom level you must have to improve like for example small changes if you are working in any organization so you must have to think that what benefit you can provide to your organization through which like the uh, the ordinary uh, team members or the normal employees can the ordinary employees can also get benefits from them a culture of continuous improvement like the culture uh, continuous improvement should become a culture like everyone should participate in it 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 would become a culture everyone should think that the continuous improvement is important and they are also giving their share in the continuous improvement avoid information silos means friend that uh, information should not be lost it should not be lost somewhere it should not be break somewhere information should be uh, gathered and should be properly distributed among all the relevant stakeholder boost the productivity why because see friend when the grassroots level is getting acknowledgement they are getting they are feeling that their value is important they are their feedback is important so uh, the productivity will definitely be improved why friend because see productivity always depend on the grassroots level friend this is very important concept friend when the grassroots level is giving their 100% they are properly involved in everything the productivity will definitely be increased Cre- creativity will, uh, will also be increased because see create uh, you are talking about changes so fa- how come you do the change changes is dependent on the creativity if you have a creative mind only then you can do some change uh, team working will also be improved why because the uh, all the team worker thinks that uh, their uh, their feedback is important then the kaizen process kaizen process is friend very uh, simple plan do check act like for example whatever you are going 
to make a change first of all you have to plan it then do do means implement that change check means test that whatever the changes you have made what are their impacts and then act act according act means that after making the adjustment after making the testing whatever the adjustment you have to make you have to make it and act accordingly so friend thank you thanks a lot for your time and that's all from my side thank you